The finest silks from the master weavers of Randelar. Come, come, feel its softness. Chocobo Make a nice steak, gift to your wife. sausage, huh? all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, uncle, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. This very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. We don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here!
many others! The bear is... Safe. of this let him play with the kitten they brought a pet <laughs> you'll pay for what you've done Sid those things are fast we'll have to be faster They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day.
Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. <laughs> 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 For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Oh, it's to give them a better tomorrow. They see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment.
Last I saw, he was in the mess, as always. Last I saw, he was in the mess, as always. Welcome back, Sid. Finish with that log so we can call it a morning. Almost done. Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. Again! I seen schoolboys swing harder! Autumn winds atop the rotten pier. Of Sid's return, the faithful sing across the blighted mere. I am a tinker by trade, but I've always been fascinated with the art of healing. If only there were a salve to mend a broken engine. Sign outside should have told you. Yeah, the sign outside should have told you. But there's no sign. Um, have we any more knuckle pies? Oh, sadly not. Molly used the last of the chocobo in the stew. Well, I should be getting back to it. Uh, unless you'd rather... Can I get you, Sid? Blood on it. How am I getting on? Ah, oh, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour ale for penniless outlaws in the middle of the Deadlands. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best stew this side of Stone here, even if it is mostly just yesterday's leavings. 
Don't tell her you heard that from me, though. The usual, then. Even already, are you? to run out of potions while you're away, did you? We've a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. I couldn't... Um, gear. Is it business or pleasure? We won't hear me complaining. The only drawback... Still... I remember it like it was yesterday. You're our leader now, Clive. Go on, then. Find a better price than that. Can I do for you? You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? It'd better all be here.
Once the hall's swept, it's over to the tavern crown for me. Still smitten with the serving girl, are you? She's a fair one, all right. If you told me you could fire a forge without a crystal or a bearer before I came here, I am taking you for a madman. But no, here it is. The secret's in the bellows, you know. They're Master Sid's own design. Uh, the other Master Sid. What do you need? Uh, things here ain't too bad. Say so myself. wants to meet you. I, I can keep him, can't I? Can't I?
This plank will have to be replaced. Nearly half the crates were lost to bandits. But half weren't. And their contents will see us through the season. here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it cool. You'll have to ask me if you want to know how it works. Right? Much was lost when the first hideaway fell. Colleagues and friends. Years of hard work. But we did not let that loss defeat us. And our work will not be in vain. No. The spirits of our fallen comrades live on in every leaf and limb you see here. What do you say? Charlie says I can't go and play until I finish my sums. Well then hurry up and finish them! We need three for curling geese. Ah, Sid. We were just about to start our next lesson. You're welcome to join us. 
But be warned, I tolerate absolutely no tomfoolery. Can't catch a wink with all the clamour in the hall. The atrium's quiet this time of day. Sid, what's the special occasion? <laughs> You're welcome to join us for a spell. If you think Jill won't mind. The Lawsman says I can borrow as many books as I can carry. This was all I could carry. <laughs> Go on, eat up. You won't grow fat pecking at hay. What's the matter, Sid? <laughs> you look as pale as the day your predecessor slung you in the cell next to mine. Not about to have another fit, are you? Of course you aren't. You're a changed man now. Both are. longer or harder than our Otto. You can scour the whole of storm and ash, and you won't find a better man. Escape from the slave markets? How'd you manage that? I had some help, but it was mostly luck. The others weren't so lucky. Lady Tyre is performing a delicate operation and must not be disturbed. I'll let her know you called.
All operations are suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. I'll let the others know. Have you finished sorting those reports yet? Finished? I ain't started. Been busy enough with my own work. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Otto's gonna skin me alive. Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent us things. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out? There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. I learned something new. You'll be the first to know. Now off you go. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you. Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would lewd relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even.
Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Ah, my favorite pupil. One would think. <laughs> I admit. A far more reputable fellowship. My beloved homeland. Or at least, it was. <sighs> How may I help you today? <laughs> 